Hi, everyone. So I am Norshen Firshishi, and I am from Tunisia. And I am an AI engineer at InstaDeep, which is a Tunisian startup. And today I'm presenting a workshop on natural language processing. So this workshop is an implementation of uh, which will be done on Collab. So here we are going to have few ideas about it, then we will switch to Collab and see the, impl the actual implementation and the results. Can we? So we'll start with few understanding about natural language processing and the application of the NLP on the digital marketing. Then we'll go directly to the practice. So it, uh, natural language processing is a subfield of artificial intelligence. So how many of you here have heard or have done some project on natural language processing? Nice. So the challenges here is to, the, to make the machine able to read or to understand texts and to dive meaning from the human language. Some tasks of the NLP uh, involve speech recognition, natural language understanding, and natural language generation. So in this collab, we are going to implement NLP for the digital marketing. And it is a one, one field where NLP has done excellent results. Uh, we, thanks to this implementation, we can interact with, uh, in real time with customers. And uh, it will be based on description of the products, as well as the reviews of the clients in, in those products. So we are going uh, to work with the specific product, which are niche perfumes. Anyone who has idea about it? So they are special kind of perfumes, and uh, in this we are uh, collecting. We have collected the uh, implement the data, which contains description. Here we can find the description, and we are going to do information retrieval from those description and some reviews, and we are going to extract and to analyze the sentiment of the clients in order to implement them into a smart reply or a chatbot. So based on your request, we are going to extract the five most relevant products for you. We are going to start with a pre-processing and basically a tokenization where we are going to clean our text data, del deleting such as deleting punctuation or emojis, low casing, and, re and removing the stop words. Our, we are going to use two models, one for the sentiment analysis and the second one for the information retrieval. In, the, in order to retrieve the, uh, the products, we are going to calculate the cosine similarity in order to extract the most relevant products for us. And uh, we are going directly to the collab. So anyone has already used collab from Google? Right, so it is uh, a platform where we can implement in to a Jupyter notebook on uh, with Python. So uh, this will help us or avoid us the, the time of imp importing or pip installing the, all the necessary packages. Uh, from the start, please. So you can stop me at any point to if, if you want uh, any, if you have any questions. So, uh, in order to start, we, we need some packages. Here we are going to use the pickle, which is uh, a Python-specific uh, data. Uh, we are going to use pandas, which carries uh, out data analysis workflow. Then some easy-to-use interface for natural language processing or human understanding, which is the NLTK. Then some of the scikit-learn implementation for machine learning, which is a machine learning li library. Move on. So one of the models that we are using is the Doc2Vec model. Anyone has an idea about the Doc2Vec? So it is basically a way 
to describe our text into arrays. And one of the most implemented uh, or used package is the Gensum package, which is very easy to use and gives straightforward, okay, uh, straightforward implementation and uh, easy uh, and uh, sp uh, speed, uh, speed uh, with a very uh, high speed uh, results. Go on. So after uh, after uh, importing all the necessary uh, packages, we move to the uh, the data uh, to uh, to know what the data contains. So basically, for the data, we have the names of the perfumes. For each perfume, we have a URL image in order to recognize the the exact perfume, the description of this product, then the reviews of the clients on those products, and finally some notes. So just so you know, this data is uh, uh, available uh, online. You can, it's uh, open source data that you can use for any other project that you want. And the project also is uh, on GitHub, uh, for Shishin or Shen GitHub, that you can use any time that you want. So here we can see an example of how actually data look like. So for each perfume ID, we have its name, the URL for its image, so we can show it. Finally, a description of this product some notes and uh, the reviews of the clients. We are going to visualize how exactly the data look like. Go on, please. So here is an example of the, uh, the first perfume. Uh, so we can see the description, it's a text or strings, then few notes and uh, many reviews here, for example, for this product we have only one review. Another example here of another rich perfume. So I remind you that the task of this collab is to base it on uh, a client who is uh, asking for a specific product. He can, uh, he can enter uh, a sentence telling what is he looking for, and the results will be the five or ten most relevant uh, examples of perfumes based on the reviews of the other clients and the description of this product. Go on. So, as far as we are working with text, we need to uh, pre-process the text by uh, stemming, locating, removing stop words, deleting punctuations, and eventually emojis if they exist. So there is no one specific way to, to clean data. It's actually related to your problem and to the language that you are using. We apply or, yes? Um, uh, so as far as we are working with standard languages, it says if it is al Arabi al Fusha, this could be applied. But just there are specific stop words for the al Arabiya. For the English, it could be and uh, or then or he she al Arabi. It could be wa fi ila. So you have to be careful with those differentiation. But as far as we are not working with dialects with specific uh, words. Standard languages are, uh, we are working, we can still work with standard languages. So this uh, was, impl uh, was done with the data set that is written in English. So it was, the, we, we didn't try it with Arabic. Okay. So we apply all the necessary pre-processing on our data. And here after we can see the, uh, the result. Yes. Uh, and as far as our data is cleaned, we move directly to creating our model, which is composed of two models. One is supposed to, uh, to retrieve the information from the description of the document. And the other is to extract the sentiment analysis but, uh, from the reviews or the client reviews. Go on. So, 
The first model, with, which is the LSA model, is, to, uh, is simply it simply tokenizes the words in a document in a TF IDF. So the TF is the term frequency. That means that we are going to count how many times are we using each word in our vocabulary. Then the T, uh, the IDF is the inverse document frequency. It measures how important each word in the sentence is. Go on, please. Okay, uh, go on, go on. And for the second document, uh, which is the doc 2 vec document, which is going to represent each word, then each sentence, that then each description into an array. So combining the, both models uh, and running them into the training data took only three minutes, which is very fast. Go, go on. So this is all technical stuff. You can go ahead on the uh, the lab and try it all by yourself. So we want to to uh, in order to the, to use this uh, implementation, we need it to be a form of an app. So we use what we call chatbots, which is interactive. And here we only want to the chatbot is going to ask you what are you looking for. And directly, you can write any sentence. For example, here, uh, go on, please. Stop. Stop. So, uh, exactly, he is going. Uh, for example, here, I said, uh, what did I say? So, describe your form you would like. Uh, go up. So. Wait, 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 wait. Up, down, down. Yes. So you ask which, uh, which, uh, which thing you are going. Uh, what, uh, what do you are, what do you want exactly? So he is asking, describe the perfume you are looking for, and you can be as detailed as possible. So you can add some description of the, uh, the, the products. You can also describe the event that you are actually looking for, such as maybe birthdays or events or vacations. And he can uh, actually uh, provide you the top five actual uh, products. Can you go down? Stop. Then he is going to search from all the data that he has and extract for you the top five most uh, important or relevant uh, products for you. So do you have any questions to ask? Go on. <coughs> well, basically, this is a recommender system, right? Mm -hmm. So yes. uh, what did you use for the representation and the algorithm that you used for the cosine similarity? Is it the pure math or there is an algorithm that you used? Uh, the second thing, the, the all attributes used or just the name of the perfumes? So uh, for the cosine similarity, it is not a um, model or any algorithm. It is just an equation to calculate. It's based on the angle between the representation of the uh, documents, since the documents were represented into arrays. So it is only a distance to be calculated. And as far as the distance is close, that means that the two, doc the, uh, the two arrays are have the same meaning. It means that the documents are close. So we extract this based on the, uh, this calculated distance. And what was the second? The attributes, we used first the description of the document, the description of the articles and the reviews. The description, we want to extract the information or which is called by the, uh, the, the information retrieval plus the uh, reviews to extract sentiment, to do a sentiment analysis. Uh, just uh, for clarification, uh, for example, KNN uh, based on the cosine similarity, that's what I meant by you used an algorithm or just the pure math. Excuse me? The Kenyer's neighbor algorithm. Ah, Kenyer. It's based on uh, cosine similarity. So we can use Canon, for example, instead of just using the cosine similarity itself. 
Yes, you can choose whatever uh, metrics you want. In order, it could be the cosine similarity of the Euclidean distance or any other type of distance to be calculated. Yes, go ahead. Hello. So my question is: you're saying it's based off the reviews that occur. So if you have a new product, will that bias? So will those new products come up in the recommendation or? How does that work? So we based for the training, we trained all our model in part of the data, right? So it has already have an idea about this product, is it good or not good, based on all the previous reviews. So it is not updated, it's, it's not updated, but it may give now not very accurate uh, results as it had not new, uh, the, added the new reviews, but if we add the new reviews and we do it at each time, uh, in real time, it could be uh, more helpful for uh, new users to have more accurate idea. Yes, come on. Hi. So you said you give more priority for reviews and uh, the title. What about the others? And it, that depends also on the user, the customer, or no? Like some customers, they don't care about reviews. Like what happened in this case? What do what you suggest? For some customers? customers? Yeah, like whatever who is using them. Mm -hmm. So like you give more for the reviews and, and the title. What about the other? You said there's five. So, uh, could we go back? Uh, uh, no, uh, this, but scroll up. So, we have the first the name of the article, uh, of the, uh, the product. We have also the, uh, the URL to the image. So, if we are going to use the image, this, this is going to be part of computer vision or image processing, which is not uh, this part of field, this is uh, natural language processing. We only focus it on texts. But if we do another algorithm that could be implemented to extract information from this image, this could also be uh, good and uh, have new, uh, new features to be added to the model. Then we use the descriptions and the, the reviews. We can add also the notes. As far as we are working with texts, we can all implement them and use them after. So thank you. As I said, this is uh, open source. You can use it and add it any features at any time that you, you can. It's part of workshops and in order to help young people uh, implement their first steps into natural language processing. Thank you.